All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Little Nog Antonio Rogerio Noguera. So here is Rogerio Noguera, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, has been one of the better boxers this light heavyweight division has ever hosted. Sound defensively, top five in terms of his striking and takedown defense among active light heavyweights. Unfortunately for Little Nog, injuries have been a big part of the narrative, but when he's been healthy enough to make the walk, more often than not, he has realized success. Rogerio Noguera, the brother of former UFC heavyweight champion and former Pride heavyweight champion Minotaro Noguera, is one of the best boxers inside the UFC's light heavyweight division. And on top of that, has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, the Muay Thai game still going strong for the decorated former UFC light heavyweight champion and Pride Grand Prix winner, Mauricio Shogun Hua. And Joe, what he accomplished in winning that Pride Grand Prix back in 2005, still considered by many to be the greatest single year produced by an MMA fighter. And here, well beyond his 35th birthday, Shogun Hua still proving to be a force among the sports elite. Mauricio Shogun Hua has a long and established career inside the octagon and the ring of pride. He's one of the all-time greats, and his highlight reel is second to none. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A boxer, holding a professional record out. 23 wins, eight losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting in a Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Antonio Rogério Nogueira! And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Kieran Chima, Brazil, Mauricio Chocó! And with the answer begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Okay, you ready? You ready? Well, what a venue this is for MMA. We are underway right here at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Ready to go for round one, and you better be mindful of the little knock power in the early going. He has chewed up and spit out a lot of guys in round one in the UFC. Louise Kane, Tito Ortiz, Patrick Cummins, all of these guys have fallen victim to little knock in round one. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Nice left to the body. Well, he got clipped to the body there, Joe. Left his midsection wide open. He's become a little bit susceptible to that shot by almost leaning in, moving into his opponent's offense. Not a good look there. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Beautiful jab. Beautiful jab. Sharp timing. on that takedown. Shogun gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, double jab. They continue to exchange. Misses with the head kick. Oh. Nailed him with that right hand. Hard straight punch. Very nice. Oh! Punches block. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Lead left by Hua. And he eats a high one. Oh. 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 Lower 
jaw is extremely swollen now. Misses a huge hook to the head. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. This is where those knees to the body can come and play. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Lands the kick to the body there. Caught him with a punch. Going for the single leg now. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring points here, and the takedowns are starting to pile up. Taking this fight exactly where he thought he could, and exactly where he wants it to choke here. This could be tough. Looks like he's got the guillotine locked in tight. Brilliant oh, submission defense there. He's in half guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Hard kick to the body by Shogun. Oh! oh Round two winding oh, down. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Here's a powerful punch that devastates. And let's go to a different angle. All right, here we go with round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Mauricio Shogun. Wow! He is hurt here. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Man, another takedown. Scored a lot of points with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. All right, so oh! Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, straight right. for the win. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And here's the end. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out again. Boom! And he's out. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mauricio Shogun Hua. So there he is, folks, Mauricio Shogun Hua, enjoying yet another seminal moment with his teammates after a UFC win. This man has been there, he has done that, and tonight he puts it all together once again. Shogun Hua is your winner. Congratulations to Shogun.